All right, we're going to cover number six from the Calc A B exam in two thousand nine, um, and it's one of those where they give you a picture and they ask you to do a bunch of stuff. Um, first question is about points of inflection. We need to know the points of inflection uh, in this case can be found at the relative maximums and minimums for f prime of x. Um, so if you look at the graph, you can see um, that there's a relative minimum on f prime of x at um, x equals negative two and a relative maximum at x equals zero. So um, that's the answer, basically. f of x has a point of inflection at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 0. And then we want to give a reason. So because f prime has relative extrema at those x values. And that's really it. Uh, one thing I will point out, because people worry about this sometimes, um, we're actually told in the problem that the derivative is uh, continuous. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that. But um, people are often concerned about the differentiability. Um, and uh, you don't need to have f prime be differentiable at the relative extrema. It just needs to have a relative extrema. So um, don't worry about that. That's probably the only tricky part about this particular part. And uh, the next thing, we're going to find some definite integrals. One of them we'll do geometrically. One of them we'll do uh, an actual integral, which is kind of unusual to do on the AP exam for some reason. Um, so, to find f of negative 4, what I do is use the fundamental theorem. Um, f of negative 4, uh, the integral from negative 4 to 0 of f prime um, should be f of 0 minus f of negative 4. Rearrange that, and we get f of negative 4 is f of 0 plus, uh, minus rather the integral from negative 4 to 0 of f prime of x dx. So, we're told that f of 0 is 5. So minus, and now what we're looking for, if you look at the picture, is uh, that. I want to subtract that. So what I'm going to do to get that um, region is some geometry. So I have a rectangle there that's 4 by 2. And then I'm going to subtract off this semicircle. So that's a circle of radius 2, but I only want half of it. So it gives me that. And then some simplifications, blah, blah, and keep going. And we get 2 pi minus 3. Uh, the next part of this question was to find f of 4, um, and that's one that's going to require an actual integral. So, again, we use the fundamental theorem, which is a really common thing to do. Just write down what the fundamental theorem says and then rearrange it so that you're solving for what you need. Um, so in this case, we need f of 4, so that's going to be f of 0 plus the integral from 0 to 4 of f prime. And then the integral from 0 to 4 is going to be some work. Um, so f of 0 was given. Let's replace f prime with the uh, definition that we're given, um, which you can see kind of down here. And so that's going to be, now I need to integrate um, e to the negative x over 3, which at this point in the year you can probably do almost in your head, but uh, let me do a quick indefinite integral with a u substitution here. So u is negative x over 3, that tells me that x is negative 3u, dx is negative 3 du, and combine all that to get this integral, um, and then that's just negative 3 e to the u. So let's go back to the original problem. Um, now there's a 5 in front of it, so I'm going to end up with negative 15, and then replace u with negative x over 3. Don't forget to integrate the negative 3, so negative 3x, and then from 0 to 4, so I'm plugging in, which isn't really bad. Uh, I mean, you're going to get an ugly value, but it's not so bad. And to clean this up, I get uh, that combines to give me 3, 3 and 5 is 8, and then there you have it. Okay, so uh, that is f of 4. And then for the final part, what we're asked to do is figure out where, um, where the function f has its absolute maximum. And you can see, uh, we're looking at the graph of f prime, so this interval here, which I've highlighted, on that interval, um, f prime is greater than or equal to zero. And then on this next interval over here, um, f prime is less than zero. And we're actually told in the problem that the x coordinate where that changes is at three natural log of five thirds. Um, so they took that algebra out of our hands. Some of you might be thankful for that. Um, so now I'm just jotting it down. So f prime is less than or equal to zero um, on the interval negative four to uh, that weird value they give you. Therefore, uh, we know that f is increasing. 
I don't remember if I said greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, but it's, it's definitely greater than or equal to. So uh, we know that f of x increases on that interval. And then on this next one, we know f prime is less than 0 um, from that x value to 4 for sure. Um, so really there's only one critical point at which it changes um, sign, at which the derivative changes sign. Um, so we know that f is decreasing on this interval. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, not only do you get a maximum at that x value, you get the absolute maximum. Increases everywhere until it gets there, decreases everywhere after that. Um, so that's our answer. And uh, this one's not so bad. I mean, it does have that one definite integral you have to do by hand. Um, but again, that's not really a terrible integral. So uh, I hope you were successful, and good luck.